Well, the Uluru meeting place is about um, attracting more people to Central Australia. It's trying to say to business, we've got a high-class facility where you can come in a relaxing environment, have detailed discussions about issues of concern, your business operations, but also appreciate the natural beauty of Australia and the tremendous uh, tourism opportunities we've got available. This is a very important property for the Australian Government. Are, are you proud about what's been achieved here? I'm absolutely delighted with the leadership of the Indigenous Land Corporation. This is the third of their investments in tourism, which is very important to me as the Tourism Minister. The Indigenous uh, offering is important to us both domestically and internationally in promoting Australia as a wonderful place to visit. But the real achievement here is the growth from two Indigenous employees to 171 in a very short period. It says to the tourism industry and industry general in Australia, if you put the effort in, invest in training and mentor people, then they will respond and you'll assist in overcoming your shortage of labour. Obviously, uh, ACOR is very heavily tied into that idea. Are you excited that hotel chains are getting behind this so heavily? Look, uh, ACOR's commitment and working with the ILC, but more broadly, giving a commitment to lift Indigenous employment across all their operations is what industry generally should do. And this partnership, I think, is a foundation now for us to do more. And I've now appointed John King, who's well known in the tourism industry, to try and do this more broadly in the tourism sector. Just like for the Minerals Council of Australia and the Petroleum Industry, we're starting to get real progress in the other part of my portfolio. And you know, regional Australia for me is bread and butter. This is where you get economic activity, this is where you create real jobs, and you leave a lasting legacy of employment and training for Indigenous people. And then you start overcoming issues of housing, health, problems of alcohol, petrol sniffing, all those issues that have really undermined our standing internationally about how we work with our Indigenous people. There's no doubt, it's not about government handouts from here on in, it's about economic development and a strategic partnership by the business community and the Indigenous communities. The ILC has done this incredibly quickly, haven't they? Look, um, the ILC is to be commended. This is not without its risk. We've got a new business centre. The facilities in uh, terms of accommodation are run down. They've now got to work hard with the support of the government and I might say the business community, Australians at large, to turn this into a success. And it's worth coming here. Terrific backdrop, beautiful surroundings, the rock, the altars. Uh, indigenous um, opportunities to see traditional culture. Good food, good wine. Um, high quality meeting places, well it speaks for itself.